Goku getting you over one the Starlight Let's Player is here and welcome to part six of Smile Pretty Cure. Let's go marching world. So we were able to upload the last part yesterday, so uh, um well at the time of this recording. But anyway, we're finally going to part six and I think this time we were gonna I was thinking about going for a Kane for uh this part, but instead uh well, not Akane, but I was thinking about going for Reika for this part, but instead, I want to save her for part 7, and instead, we're going to go for now in part, for this part. And the next story chapter we're going to be going through, we're going to be going through Aladdin. You know, I haven't really, I haven't really watched the movie Aladdin either, nor do I, nor do I even know much about the story, I just know that... I just know that the guy Ali um, basically summons the genie, and yeah, I don't. That's about. It. I can't. I don't really know much about um, Aladdin other than the fact that I did play the song um, Prince Ali. I did play the Prince Ali song, which was back, which was on Just Dance 2014, and yeah, that was yeah, that was about it. I have no. I have no. I have no knowledge about um, how the story goes in Aladdin, um, nor, yeah, I'm just, yeah, there's nothing to it about, I don't, um, okay, I'm gonna stop, I, yeah. Well, who knows, maybe the other two, maybe the last two stories I might be a bit familiar with. But yeah, I'm pretty much going back. I'm pretty much going back in the groove like I was last time when I was constantly uploading um, pretty good videos like once every day, like I did with the Splash Star, like I did with Yes Five, like I did with Yes Pretty Good Five Go Go, like, and for the rest of the playthroughs. I don't know. But yeah, like I said, um. I don't know if I'm be. I don't know if I'll be able to go to do, go to Doki Doki because every time I try to, every time I try to up, every time I try to load up Doki Doki on Citra, um, it would just constantly just slow down. Like, the frame rate would just go down, and I can't really play. I can't really play the game with how slow it gets. So, if I don't find any solution on how I can get through this. Uh, I might skip that game for now and just go on to Happiness Charge. So yeah, if you were, so if you were on Twitter, if you were on Twitter, I'm pretty sure you probably like. I'm pretty sure you probably like saw the whole war thing between Pretty Cure and Pretty Cure fans and Sailor Moon fans. Uh, say, uh, pretty much the like Sailor Moon fans saying that Pretty Cure pretty much copied Sailor Moon in a way. Um, I made a video about this, which was called "The Dark Side of the Pretty Cure Community," where I basically just like, or basically just um talked about a certain uh take that somebody made saying that um Sailor Moon was completely sim like not si like Smile Pretty Cure was pretty much similar or just copying Smile Sailor Moon and I did my best to try and analyze the whole thing while also defending this person from getting so many like getting attacked constantly on getting attacked constantly by the Pretty Cure fan and you know, seeing this happen again only with just a simple war between the two, it is kind of ridiculous. I mean, I will say that, um, Pretty Cure did borrow elements, some elements from Sailor Moon, but at the same time, it was also, um, have, it also, ha it was also having its own identity. So, yeah, for... Maybe the biggest, maybe the best example is pretty much Smile Pretty Cure because 
is kind of similar to how Sailor Moon does it, but not sort of, n not in the like, but not completely. Some of the characters do f seem a bit similar. Some of them seem a bit similar to each other. Um, I think two good examples. I think two good examples will probably be probably be um, now aka Kill March and um, Makoto aka Kill Sailor Jupiter because both of them uh, both can cook and both also both are also the strongest ones like physically strong. Only I think the only difference is that Makoto is more focused on love and trying to get find her next boyfriend. And now is more focused on loving her own, f like, she's more focused on looking after her own family, which is her younger siblings, seeing that she's the oldest of the s oldest of them all, as, and, yeah, that's about it. That's the only difference I can see between now and Makoto. And another good example, I can say, like, of characters being similar, I would say... Uh, Reika, aka Kill Beauty, and Ami, aka Sailor Mercury, because they're both they're both the brains of their respective teams, and they're both pretty much both of them pretty much centers on. Well, Ami's powers is basically on water, and um, uh, Reika's powers is basically centered on ice. So yeah. While both are pretty much the same type of elements, not completely the same. Considering that ice is a solid and water is a liquid. And another good example I would say is probably Akane aka Kirsani and Rei aka Salem Mars. Because both of them are pretty much hot headed. Only difference is that um, Ray is pretty much more centered. I wouldn't say centered on fashion or anything, but I don't like. I don't know. This I don't know, but like, mainly she's more. Um, mainly she just likes to fuck with. Um, she, mainly she just likes to fuck with Osagi, while Akane she mainly is just um she's mostly just a tomboy who enjoys volleyball, um, cooking okonomiyaki. And yeah. So yeah, they have some there are some similarities, but at the same time, they also have their differences. Like if you were to say like if you were to say that Sailor Moon has is pretty much one of like, like I will always say that Sailor Moon is the most legendary and the most legendary magical girl anime of all time, along alongside others like Cutie Honey, I would say these two are the most legendary. I wouldn't, I wouldn't really put Pretty Cure up there with Sailor Moon, even though I like, even though I like Pretty Cure more than Sailor Moon, but, and, I will say that Sailor Moon pretty much, Pretty much is the pioneer of many other magical girl anime out there, and Pretty Cure is one of them. Seeing that both Pretty Cure and Sailor Moon are how they both made by they both were made by Toei, so yeah. Only difference is that Pretty Cure has many different creators, while Sailor Moon only has one creator, and there's um yeah. But yeah, that mini game we played just earlier that was once again a puzzle mini game, so I didn't have I don't really have to go through that. But yeah, I find it really ridiculous. I just find it ridiculous how how this whole back and forth between Sailor Moon and Pretty Cure just gotten out of hand. Like it's okay to enjoy both. It's okay to enjoy one over the other while not. <laughs> It's okay to enjoy it one over the other without being an asshole. But if you enjoy both, then more power to you. Me put I enjoy like I enjoy both anime.
Both of them are definitely in my top five. And yeah, speaking of Sailor Moon, uh, I really am looking forward to Sailor Moon Cosmos. So I'm curious to see how, seeing that Sailor Moon Cosmos is basically going to be the whole, the basically just remaking um, the Sailor Moon Sailor Stars. So I'm curious as to how that will turn out. I know Sailor Moon Eternal, I saw Sailor Moon Eternal, and I think that was done extremely well. Um, I kind of wish they would have, um, I really wish they would have done a better job with the art style of, um, the art style for Sailor Moon Crystal Seasons 1 and 2. But Season 3 is pretty much of a step up from Seasons 1 and 2 in terms of quality and the art style as well. So I really do think... So, yeah, I will give points on that, but I can't really say for sure, seeing that I still haven't gotten to Season 3. I'm still stuck on Season 2 of Sailor Moon Crystal, so, who knows? When I get to Season 3, I'll have my opinions on, I'll have my opinions on that, and, um, hopefully, hopefully you and, hopefully you and this and Neptune actually, is actually decent in the, uh, in that season, unlike how they were, and Sailor Moon S because man I really hated them in se in season 3 but you know season 5 they kind of they were kind they were pretty much better than how they were in, than in season 3 so yeah I will give them points on that still I still I do think they come off as arrogant bitches I do think they yeah I think they think they just come off as arrogant bitches thinking that like constantly getting in Sailor Moon's way while trying to find like the um damn I, I, can't, I can't remember what they were but like I can't remember what they were but they were basically just straight up weapons that were uh sealed away inside uh any sealed away inside people's hearts. I might have to rewatch Sailor Moon season three just to try and remember any of this. But yeah, um, going into this game, this is once again uh mem memorization mini game. Again, first part you have to click on the arrows that they show, and once you finally and you gotta make sure you memorize those uh arrows and. Once you get to the um, finally get to the actual uh, game, you have to try and uh, f you have to remember the exact um, arrows that they showed you the first time, so you can get to the um, so you can get to where Jasmine is in the uh, at the li at the area. But you know, you would think that people who've also done their playthroughs on the DS games, they would actually, they would actually hop on Citra to actually do so. Yet, only two people, only two people decided to do this, and I'm basically one of those two people. But yeah, mini game done. Now we can go on to her. Now we can go on to kill March's attack. Who knows? Any off chance that um, I have three seasons. Once I'm done with happiness charge review. I have three other seasons for you guys to pick between, and uh, I know Smile is going to be one of them, so in the off chance that Smile does get picked, 
I'm not sure if I want to um go through all of um the episodes that I've already reviewed. Like I've already gone through nine episodes, eight of them being focused on Cure March, and the ninth episode being the Christmas episode. So I'll try to find a way to squeeze those episodes in. Any off chance that I actually do review Smile for the Cure. I'll also go through Glitter Force as well, seeing as some people actually wanted me to go through that um season. Not season, but season of people that wanted me to go through the whole dub. I still think Glitter Force is a decent dub. Not I cannot say the same for Glitter Force Doki Doki. I think that one was the worst one. Seeing that they skip cut out seeing that they cut out a bunch of episodes, merged up and just took certain clips and added them into them. Add them into some certain episodes, merging episodes together, like scrunching two episodes into one, and basically just had in, like some voice actors who didn't really fit the role of some characters. And not in topping all that off is how is the amount of plot elements that they pretty much cut out. So I can't really give Little Force Doki Doki a good. I can't really give. Good for Stoki Doki, a good or decent grade. But you know, Glitter Force Smile, that gets an uh, that gets a, I'd say it gets a decent grade. If anything, I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. I like the voice acting. I enjoyed the music. I think yeah, I think Blush actually did an amazing job with the um with the vocal soundtrack. Kind of, you know, and the the original soundtrack, you know, it's, I would say it's like B minus. It's good. It's not bad, but I wouldn't see myself listening to these, these original songs. Not songs, but like these original tracks, if you know what I mean. But yeah, um... At least they only cut out like eight episodes, and s and some of them were just some of them were were pretty much filler. But I still wish they could have kept the episode where Kane pretty much met the British boy named Brian, and the two pretty much became a thing. Uh, either way, we managed to complete this mini game. We've gotten ourselves an, another outfit, and we've been, we also got ourselves another cure to cure. Or the cure, however you call it. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, sticking around for part 7, we're finally going to go back to playing as Reka, aka Cure Beauty. Uh, but until then, this is Starlight Let's Play is signing out. As always, Goki Genyo and have a startastic day everyone. I knew I would fulfill my dream, yeah. They knew I started from the bottom, now I made it, yeah. The possibilities are endless, yeah, I say, yeah. I got the rules and I got everything I need, yeah. And now I'm chilling with a pretty gentle lady, yeah. She got a kind of gentle personality, yeah. She got them curvy hips and a booty for booty.